Well, uh, こんばんは。Good afternoon to you all. So, finally, we have some good story progression on Swiss a i n o v e r g a n t i a episode 7. And thus, this will be my review on this week episode. So, this episode starts when the last week. Episode ended with Lido fighting what appeared to be、uh, a member of the alien race that the humans are、uh, fighting on outer space. And he kind of, during this fight, he put seriously Bellows in danger、uh, because the whale squid, that's the name of the, the thing, goes for her. Uh, but eventually, l e d o is able to choke him and to death and make him explode. And apparently, the fact that he killed this thing is very bad because all the humans on the fleet kind of look to these things as sacred、um, animals, something like that. And they are not supposed to be killed. Besides, they are quite dangerous, apparently. And they attack when provoked, they attack and they cause a lot of damage to the humans and to the human fleets. So, all the people on the fleet is kind of on a, an uproar because of what Little did.、Uh, then we. See, the vice captain is kind of.、Um, later on, she makes an inquiry with、uh, Bells and Lido about what happened.、Uh, and also, Lido, at the same time, he kind of put a sample to chamber analyze, and the match is similar to what. To the race, the e o s they are fighting on outer space. However, this apparently this is an indigenous species of Earth, it's not an alien that came from space. These animals are already on the Earth, so we could say that the, apparently the race <coughs> on this outer space. Are descendant of these whale squids, apparently.、Uh, I do wonder what, how they did get to space. Well, probably the humans did take them eventually, maybe. I don't know.、Um, but on, on Lido kind of does not understand. s Because he speaks with、uh, Barrow, the, the, the brother of Amy, he kind of also speaks with Amy, he also speaks with Bellows, and he does not understand why the humans of the fleet kind of worship these things, these enemies. And we have a pretty intense confront between the ideals of living. On the planet Earth and on the fleet. And we also have a conversation interesting be between、uh, Chamber and Lido because Chamber says that the humans on the Earth prefer to live with the environment using two words that on other space they are not used that is cooperation and coexistence. And those, those two words do not exist on space. Or on the human civilization and space. However, these are fundamental concepts that exist on the fleets that are on the planet Earth. So, this marks a, a significant difference between the two civilizations or the two human civilizations <coughs> that followed different paths.、Um, and Ledo is now. At the nucleus of this confrontation, because he is a soldier, he was born to fight the Ideos in the space, and he cannot 
or he is unable to adapt uh, to a life without uh, conflict, without war. And I guess that Amy is sad and other member, but especially Amy is sad because I think that he find she finally understands that part of Lido that he, he don't matter the time he spends with the human fleet, he as is he is at his core a soldier and the soldier will always be fighting until the end and that is the matrix let's say on that way of Lido he is a soldier he was born to fight he was destined to fight so after the inquiry with the vice captain we see that the commander of the fleet the old man with the beard he is kind of being checked out by the doctor of, of the fleet and apparently he, he possesses some kind of health issues. And then we see the blonde guy pinion that appeared on the last episode and he, he is kind of a rival of Bellows and he has an exchange of arguments with Bellows about what Lido did because pinion apparently desires to go explore the whale squid territories because apparently these territories are kind of taboo. The human fleets are in the, in the least, this Gargantia fleet does not go to that area because they attack who trespasses on that situation. However, he kind of convinces one of the fleet commanders, a guy called Flange, uh, he also convinces him and then later on when the, uh, the fleet is kind of stopped because a pack of whale skids is swimming uh, under the water and passes the fleet. Lido kind of tries to go to battle but he is stopped first by Amy then by the vice captain of the fleet and two or three guys that armed and they kind of prevent Lido from entering the chamber and engaging in battle with whale squids because apparently if any sound is heard, uh, scream something, immediately the pack of the whale squeeze apparently will attack the humans. Or, or in the least, that is what is hinted on the episode. So at the, the end of the situation, Amy kind of goes, tries to hug, I guess, Lido, but he says that for her to not touch him because he find he understood that he needs to be part with the fleet because he and at this point it's also little understanding that he could not adjust to this reality to this situation he is not born for this he is not prepared for this he is other sin and near the end of the episode we see Pinion, the blonde guy that has an argument with Bellows <coughs> before on the episode. Apparently, I don't get the story right, but apparently the brother of Pinion already did try to go to the whale squid territory in the past and apparently he was killed, I guess, uh, or die in the process. So he then presents a um, a declaration to the fleet's commander saying that he wishes to go and think and go exploring whale squid territory and he said that he already had Lido and Chamber agree with him uh, and then the other guy Flange one of the captain one of the commanders of the fleet kinda also presents his inquiry saying that the they need to rescue something about the old human civilization to learn more about their own past. Uh, and the captain, he, when he is, and it's quite implied that he is saying no, he kind of has an earth attack. So I don't know if the fleet commander will be dying or will be die in the process or not. However, if he dies, well, who, who, who will become the new captain? Who, who will become the new fleet commander? 
if this guy Wenge becomes the new fleet commander probably he will send all the fleet to well squid territory and that could eventually be the end of the fleet so we don't know what will happen on the next episode however this was a very interesting episode a very action episode uh, we have uh, a good story progression finally after being stalling 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 for two or three episodes now this kinda is regaining their own pacing uh, and now we need to see what will happen to the fleet will the fleet commander die and if he dies who will succeed him and if the one that succeeds him will he, he or she allow uh, this guy Pinion and the other guy Flange to go break away from the fleet add with Lido and some others that went to go and for riches under the water and will they allow them to break away from the fleet or if or will this guy Flange become the new fleet captain and if he becomes the new fleet commander will he be dragging all the fleet on the pursuing of this plan this is kind of an interesting scene to res be resolved solved on next episode and what is the secret behind the whale speeds because apparently it's kind of hinted that the territory that belongs to the oil squids is very important because there are riches beyond, beyond uh, human comprehension but the term riches I don't know if it's applied to money and gold I don't think so I think this is referring to ancient technology lost technology lost knowledge about the last the lost or the previous human civilization before the sea water kind of took in all the planets so this is interesting and will Ledo eventually in this process learn more about him about his own race on space and probably about the ideology and why they are so similar with the whale squids of earth or something like that this is all interesting stuff uh, and we will need to see what happens on the next episode well in any case this is my review for Swin Sein of Gargantia episode 7 or Gargantia on the Verderous Planet hope you enjoy stay well peace